Hello friends. In this video we will try to understand about DPF, that is diesel particulate filter, and its regeneration. DPF helps to reduce the soot or carbon particles released from the engine through exhaust gases into the atmosphere. When the percentage or quantity of accumulated soot inside the DPF increases, it needs to be burnt and this process of burning the soot is called DPF regeneration. DPF regeneration switch is fit on the dashboard of the vehicle. There is another switch used in this process which is called DPF regeneration inhibit switch. And this is fitted on the dashboard. This is an on-off type switch. Under normal conditions it should be in off mode. The inhibit switch is pressed inwards in on position. While in off, it appears leveling of other switches. Now let us discuss about different types of DPF regeneration process. First type is passive regeneration. In this process driver does not need to do anything by himself. The exhaust gas has sufficient temperature and the suit will convert into ash due to this temperature. During this process, no signal of DPF regeneration is shown on the instrument cluster. Next type in this process is active regeneration. Here also, the driver does not need to do anything by himself. To maintain the optimum temperature of exhaust gas, driver should continue to drive the vehicle under the same condition as he is driving now. During this process, a green signal of DPF regeneration is illuminated in the instrument cluster. Keep driving the vehicle until this indication is turned off in the cluster. If due to some reason, driver needs to postpone the active regeneration process, it can be done by pressing the inhibit switch. As soon as the surrounding location of vehicle is suitable for regeneration, then turn off the inhibit switch, which is the normal position of inhibit switch. Now, we will discuss about the third type of regeneration. During this process, an amber signal of DPF regeneration is illuminated on the instrument cluster along with this you will also hear the beep sound. In this situation, there is a need to complete the regeneration process in the vehicle. For performing this, driver has two options. First option, if road condition and traffic rules are favorable, like expressway, national highways etc. wherein vehicle can be run at the speed of 50 km per hour or more, then keep driving the vehicle continuously until the DPF regeneration signal is turned off on the instrument cluster. This option is better to save fuel and time. However, if this option is not possible due to unfavorable road and traffic condition etc., then park the vehicle and perform the parked regeneration process. To successfully complete this process, please adhere to the following conditions. Choose the parking place such that there should not be any fuel filling station, densely populated area, school, college, hospital, garbage dump, dust, dry grass etc. near the parking place. Now, apply the parking brake and use wheel chalk. Switch on the hazard switch. Ensure that no defect code is displayed on the instrument cluster and diesel tank should be more than one-fourth filled. Ensure that the vehicle is in neutral gear. Now, start the engine. Do not press or touch the accelerator, brake and clutch pedals on any condition. Now, press the DPF regeneration switch for 5 seconds. After successfully meeting all the described conditions, ECU itself will start the regeneration process by increasing the engine RPM. During this entire process of regeneration, the driver should remain seated in his driving seat. Once the regeneration process is completed, the engine RPM will reduce to idle RPM. Now, the vehicle is ready for driving. If the regeneration process is not completed during this time, then the amber signal of DPF regeneration will change to red on the instrument cluster and also the beep sound frequency will increase. In this situation, there is an urgent need to complete the regeneration process. Even after these indications, if the regeneration process is not performed, then both the DPF regeneration indicator and stop lamp will start blinking simultaneously on the instrument cluster. 
This is the last chance for the driver to complete the parked regeneration process as described earlier. If the regeneration is not performed even after this warning, the vehicle can't be moved further. For more information and help, it is necessary to contact Mahindra. Now call center. For undisturbed running of the vehicle, it is important to run the vehicle at the speed of 50 km per hour and more. Or, complete the parked regeneration process as soon as the amber indication of DPF regeneration is shown on the instrument cluster.